Well, it's back to school time again, and one of the things we had to do was go get school supplies for our kids. One of the things we got was a combination lock, and we saw this really cool new master lock, and it's called the speed dial. And what it is, it's not your traditional round number dial. It's, it's got uh, just a little push button up, down, left, right deal here, and you just do that to reset it and the combination is whatever you want and voila it opens up well what happened was my son put in a really really long combination and somehow he missed entered the combination so he couldn't get it open so I did all kinds of search on the internet to see how you hack into this thing and unfortunately they made it so well you can't hack into it in fact they put little triangle head screws I'll take pictures of it later and they put a, a triangle triangle head screws here in the corners and then a screw here that they had taken one edge off to where you can't unscrew it so what I had to do was drill the sucker out and it's made out of some kind of hardened metal that regular drill bits wouldn't work. I tried small drill bits, I tried cobalt drill bits, nothing nothing doing. So luckily I had a high speed, high tensile strength, uh, high hardness deburr tool that I was able to rig to my drill bit here. And I was able I was able to drill that sucker out or actually deburr that sucker out and here's the the remnants of that little screw there so it's it's pretty tough pretty tough little little lock but what I wanted you to show you was how this thing worked so after about 30 or 40 minutes of messing with this thing I, I finally got this screw undone and when you open it up, it's a pretty ingenious little mechanism in here. What's going on? You got this is the centerpiece that goes behind the, the push button deal. Sits in there like this. And when you go up down, it just follows a little path there. And that's this is what it looks like underneath. It's got it's probably got a little little cross T thing going on so you can only go up down left right there and inside there are four little wheels uh, it's kind of hard to show you uh, I have to take stills later but I don't know if you can see those little wheels there there's a see there's a wheel here there's a wheel here I'm gonna try to spin one here see if you can see it. I'm gonna zoom in Okay, now that's locked. That's in the lock position. It's got a nice bail, and you can't get a shim in here to uh, to get it out. Let's see, it's on. Anyway, but anyway, these little wheels here, they move around. So every time you push up, down, left, right, it moves the corresponding wheel. My finger's getting in the focus here. So, and the way it it works is when you put in your combination, it lines up these um, these wheels, and you can see there's a little a little cog here, a little metal metal looking thing there. And those, what they do is they rotate counterclockwise. And and fit into grooves in these wheels. So let me let me spin the top one once it focuses. So I'll spin the top one. Okay. See if you can see that little gap in there. See that gap? Let me spin it back. There we go. So that little gap there has to line up for that little wheel to go in. So the bottom one here. Let me see if I can prop this up. So 
So I'm going to line up the bottom one, you'll see there. That gap is for that little paddle to go into. And then I'll line up the other ones. Let's see. I'll line up the top one there. Oop. Back up, back up. Right there. And then top one over here. For that paddle and then the bottom one yeah this is a pretty ingenious little lock I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by uh, what master lock has done of course they're all polymer but you know hey it's it's a little locker lock so what do you expect it's not exactly Fort Knox you're trying to get into here so now once all those suckers are lined up because you either manually manipulated them or uh, because your combination was right uh, this thing is ready to come up so just pull on the bail here and this this little let it focus so this little mechanism will move over and lets the bail come up so I'll show you the little little paddles moving here move this back so see how the paddle moves into those uh, into the grooves and those little wheels. So that is pretty groovy. I like those. Yeah, no pun intended. Uh, so that's how the that's what the inside of the new a relatively new master lock speed dial looks like. So my recommendations if you get one. Don't forget your combination to make sure you get the combination right when you're entering it because it's, it was a lot of trouble to get this thing open. Uh, so if you want to know how to set it, just go online and, and look up uh, Speed Dial Master Lock and there's uh, tons of videos out there on how to, how to reset this thing. I just wanted to show you the inner workings of it. So there you go. See you later.